So hi everyone, today we'll be talking about trashing cards versus drawing cards. My name is Cheezable and welcome to the channel. Let us begin. So let me tell you a story about my first game of Dune Imperium. My first game of Dune Imperium, right, I was playing with four friends over a table and then I decided uh, I'm quite experienced with board games, so I'll just pick a random leader. I picked up Tessia, my friends suggested against it, I was like, ah, never mind, this is okay, let me just figure it out. Uh, it was a lot of figuring out. But uh, what do you think my first two actions were? I played a lot of Dominion. Dominion was like one of my first board games that really, really got me hooked on, on board gaming. <laughs> on board gaming. So what is the most prevalent strategy in Dominion? Or at least one, one of the earliest strategies that you learn? You learn that curses are good, like giving people curses are good, and trashing cards is great as well. So I don't see any curses, but... I know this symbol is trashing, right? And I think, wow, you know you can trash so early in the game. And trashing is one of those, those things that compiles, you know, like the, um, the earlier you trash, at least in Dominion, right? The, the better your benefits. So you actually do want to trash away your estates early in the game uh, and just have coppers leading to higher buys. You don't even need to buy silvers. You can just remove your estates and your buys generally get better. And so with... There being an ability trash on the board, my first action was actually to go to Haga Basin. I collected two spies. And my second action, I actually went to Selective Breeding, trashing the Dune, the Desert Planet, and drawing two cards. Okay, then with whatever I revealed, I bought whatever the best card there was, or whatever expensive card there was. So ever since my first game, have I ever taken this line of play? No. <laughs> so, so why did I think this was good then and why do I think this is bad now? So, so before we start about this, I think we need to talk about Dominion versus Dune Imperium. So Dominion is a game where you start with 10 cards, um, you know, show a box somewhere and if you, if you have played it, it's, uh, the, the game mechanics are very similar to Dune and I, I think you should try it, it's a really fun game. I think most people who have played the base box, I think the, the current versions of it where they are like... I was watching the 2022 finals and there's like gold and then Stampede, I don't even know what they are. Uh, and if they're good, do write in the comments that maybe I go and check it out. In the base box, there's a chapel and the, one of the early strategies you find out is that you can buy a chapel, you can trash out almost your entire deck and then you can just have five cards that you kind of draw into all the time. Um, and you realize that trashing is very good, especially when people start giving you curses, right? So in Dominion, the game ends um, if you just... So some Dominion terms, you just play big money. So you just buy silvers and golds. The game ends around round 17, right? Uh, assuming two players are doing this, that strategy. However, if there's like smithy or things that like help you accelerate a little bit, right? The game goes on to like 14 rounds. And I guess when the cards quality get better, I guess the rounds should in, should shorten maybe to maybe 12, 13, right? So compared to a game of Dune Imperium, right? How many rounds are there? There are seven rounds, right? So... 7 rounds compared to 14 rounds, it might seem just double, but I think that because of the compounding effect of um, trashing, right? If you trash everything in your deck, your and you have a very good hand of 5, right? Your, your turns 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 are all very strong. However, compared to... To Dune, right? Okay, let's say if, if by by round four, by round four you have trashed out most most of your deck, right? In Dune Imperium you have round five, round six, round seven, right? But in Dominion you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, right? So that is like three hundred percent better, three hundred times, uh, three times better in Dominion in Dominion rather than in Dune Imperium, and in Dune Imperium it's very hard to trash out most of your deck unless you're playing a leader like Ikaz, and are uh, intentionally buying cards that trash, or have bought cards that trash and go to selective breeding, maybe with immortality also you go to the trashing spots, right? So, 
as such, trashing gives you less payoff in Dune Imperium as compared to um, Dominion. So that's one of the things I want to talk about. So I'm not saying trashing is bad. Trashing is still pretty decent. The other thing you need to think about, right, is that in in Dune Imperium versus um, Dominion, what are you trashing? So in Dominion, what are you trashing? You're trashing estates, right? So what are estates? Estates are one victory point cards that are in your deck that are completely dead. They generally don't influence who's the overall winner. Sometimes they do, but they don't influence the overall winner. So most of the time, you just want to buy provinces and maybe some dungeons, and very rarely do estates matter, right? And and so removing an estate means nothing. Like, it is good. It's purely good. However, in Dune, right, let's say if you remove a dagger, suddenly your, your deck balance, right, in terms of excess, right, you have less greens. And th people think that greens are bad, but actually greens are pretty all right. You know, they're... You can go Mentat, you can go with Tech Negotiator. No, there, there are ways that you can turn a dagger with an action into Persuasion. So these two actions turn into Persuasion. And you generally need your daggers, right? Because you do want to access like Swordmaster and Tech Negotiator and all. So you, you generally want to have at least like one dagger in your deck, right? If you trash both daggers, then suddenly your only access is your Signet Ring. And then it's a bit tough to have access and have the right Solari when it, when it matters. So, daggers are decent. City access is decent as well. Um, and during the desert planet, right, in immortality becomes an experimentation and they are decent as well. So, sure you can trash all of them, uh, but not trashing them is fine as well. So, so that's one additional difference between trashing between Dominion and Dune Imperium. So the effects of trashing. So does trashing improve your ability to buy spice and slows? So the reason I'm talking about it is that I think that trashing and um, drawing, I think if we talk about nine persuasion, it's an easier frame of reference to talk about it. So the answer to the question is that most of the time when you want to buy a spice and slow, what you draw, all right, it matters slightly, but it doesn't matter significantly. <laughs> and what do I mean by that, right, is that if you want a spice of slow, there's generally a few things that must happen. You must either you must have a combination of these things. So you must have either high counsel, you must have decent persuasion cards in your deck. So some two persuasion cards in your deck, the convincing arguments count. You need if you have some of the three persuasion cards, even better. Things like this, or let's see if I can pull anything else out. Yeah, so you have like Guild Bankers, Python, Lady Jessica. Now these all allow, like, you need some combination of like this, this. You either need to go to Selective Breeding or Research Station, right? And to, to buy the Spice Man Flow. So, late, late in the game, that is what it is. In order for you to buy a Spice Muscle, you need to draw cards, right? You need to draw cards and um, having higher position cards in your hand, in your deck, right? Just means that you have, uh, you need to draw less, right? But overall, you still kind of need to draw somehow. Um, I mean, there are exceptions to this rule, but you kind of need to draw somehow. So, Having these cards in your deck, it doesn't really affect your ability to buy Spice of Slow too much, right? You still need to draw cards. Okay? So, as such, so talking about trashing, right? Trashing is good if you're buying Spice of Slows, right? But because you need to draw, right? Drawing takes priority over trashing. So the next thing I want to talk about trashing is that there are some cards you buy that allow you to trash. If you can see, most of the symbols, right, give you one pers one persuasion, one persuasion, one persuasion, one persuasion, no persuasion, and potential three persuasion. So most of the cards that you buy to allow you to trash, right, require you to uh, just just give you low persuasion. So in terms of buying a spice of slow, right, how much do they contribute to it? So let's say if you're playing any card you buy, right, let's say you buy it round one, how many times are you expecting to see it? Twice? 
you're expecting to play it twice, right? I think three times maybe. So let's say if I play this twice, right, and, and I remove one card from my, my deck, I play it again. Let's say I remove one more card. I'm what am I doing is that with two plays of this, right? I'm here removing two cards, but I'm adding one bad card to my deck, right? Or when I when I say bad, I it may be good in circumstance, right? But but in some sense, when you talking about spice and slow, right? It's bad card because it's only reused for one persuasion. So let's similarly for all the other for all the other cards as well. You know they don't really um lead you to a spice must flow by so yes like these cards right they can um assist you in buying spice of flow if the game goes very long but in a seven round game right it is very rarely that um this trashing ability leads to the situation where um you are unable to buy a spice of flow most of the time you'll find yourself like let's say if i buy like particularly guild ambassador right or guild administrator I'll find myself trashing it on a, on the second or third play, right? So I trash, I use it once, trash card, I use it again, trash again, and trash it, trash itself. Okay, and then I just like remove one card from my deck. So I think that's one thing you should think take note when you're buying, like thinking about trashing. So trashing overall is good, but um, yeah, two spice is expensive to trash here. Buying these cards is a cost on its own by adding it into your deck. So overall, when it comes to trashing, right, I think the the value of it goes down significantly. And this is one thing I think that if you're coming from Dominion or you have some experience playing deck building games, this is one thing you should take note of. Because of how many turns there are, how many rounds there are, only, only seven rounds, the compounding effect of um, deck building or compounding effect of trashing your deck, right, has does not come into play yet okay so so that's one of the reasons why i i don't think trashing should be as highly valued i still will trash and still ha and happy to trash just yeah shouldn't value it as highly so let's talk about drawing okay so let's talk about drawing cards so what is the benefit of playing a card that draws you cards so there's like jessica and i think the let me just pull out the significant ones. So what is so good about cards that draw cards? The, the best thing about cards that draw cards, right, is that you see them so much more. Um, yeah, I mean, you, your, your deck is not very big, right? So let's say you have a 12 card deck, right? So when you draw two cards more, or you draw four cards more by going to selective reading, right? what happens is that you're you're going to see this card like half like half a time more right or something like that so so you're actually getting a lot more value out of drawing cards drawing cards allow you to see your good cards once again so they kind of cycle into themselves um if you look at the Tarexu, the Tarexu row there are a lot of cards that draw to or that assist you in drawing and all these cards are good because they cycle into themselves you play them and then you you draw them again and you, and you play them again and what happens when you when you draw a large number of cards you very easily get to a spice or slow right so so these cards that draw cards are very good because they enable two things they enable you to play your good cards again and they enable you to buy a spice or slow So I don't think it's something to scoff at, right? Like it might not even be a spice of so early in the game it can also be to buy higher persuasion cards. You know, and these all these advantages all snowball a lot quicker than trashing one card out of your deck. Okay? So drawing cards is cards is good. It's great in the game of Dune Imperium. I think I I talked about it just now. To buy a spice of flow, you must have a combination of these things. Like two persuasion cards. If you have three persuasion cards, even better. You have cards that draw cards. Or, a blit or go to spaces that draw cards, right? Then maybe you have need like one more persuasion, you can go to, uh, or you can go to Tech Negotiator, or you can go to Arakeen to kind of fish for your last two persuasion card. So these are all things you can do. And so drawing cards is great, trashing cards is, is, is decent, but it's too expensive and too slow in Dune Imperium. So if you ever had a choice between the two, 
uh, a card that draws cards or a card that trashes cards, go for the card that go for the card that draws cards, and um, yeah, learn from my own experience. Don't go to Haga Basin, then selective reading. Uh, I hope this made some sense to you. Uh, and if 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 it didn't, and you still have more questions, do ask it below. But but overall, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See you.